packed commuter train uh, slammed into a platform at a station in Buenos Aires, Argentina. At least 49 people are killed and hundreds injured in this crash, which passengers actually say it sounded like a bomb going off. Marcos Stupanengo is uh, a journalist for us in Buenos Aires. And uh, Marcos, I know you're uh, there at a hospital not too far from the uh, Estación Once, the, uh, the train station 11, where all this happened. First, do the numbers still hold 49 deaths? 600 plus injured and also just tell me what happened it's still 49 the number one of those 49 people dead on this accident it's underage we don't know exactly now what age this minor had at the, uh, on the accident uh, i can tell you that we have cows on the different hospitals at this, at this time uh, we just have a lady that came to us minutes ago crying because she has her son and her grandson on the train. She said that her son with her grandson of 10 months was on the arms of her son and she, and she is calling him uh, every minute. She's calling uh, several times and he's not answering uh, the phone. This lady is going hospital by hospital trying to reach uh, also his son and his grandson that were traveling on this train that uh, crashed on the terminal station at Onse uh, at the rush hour. It happened at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, Monday and Tuesday was holiday here in Argentina, so it was more crowded than ever, this train. Uh, it's supposed to have like 1,000 passengers at the time of the, of the crash. Uh, there were 600 injured, 50 of them are in critical condition and the emergency workers took like uh, four or five hours in some cases to rescue some of the injuries from the structure of the train that was traveling at the, at the time of the, of the impact with the station at 12 miles per hour and it was supposed to be riding the, the, at four miles per hour. Nobody knows if it, it was a human error of it, it happens if something happened with the brakes of this uh, of this train. We know that yesterday this train that is 50 years old uh, went out of the maintenance place and it passed all the tests, included the brake the brakes test. Right, a lot of people are, are wondering if it was the brakes or not. We still don't know definitively. Quickly, Marcos, you mentioned there was surveillance video in that train station. Do we know if that will be released? They are. They have been already released. Um, you can uh, probably in the next minute uh, go to the website and there you can find the video of the moment of the impact of this of this train on the station. Uh, the the address to get the video is www.c5n.com. There you can find the video of the exactly moment of the of the of the crash. You can see uh, one of the carriages going over the, the first one, and that's the place where most of the people that is uh, dead because of this accident uh, mm. and the fatality were, were on, that, on, that, on that moment. Mm. Um, uh, Marco Stupanengo, thank you so much. Just the sheer numbers, it's just very, it's staggering what's being reported out of uh, Argentina. Thank you so much.